Meghan Markle and Amal Clooney have plenty in common, both are strong feminists with successful careers, and both are married to some of the most famous men in the world. Here's a look at how they sparked a friendship with their husbands. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle married on May 19, 2018, the Cloonies were included in the daytime ceremony as well as the smaller evening reception for 200 close friends and family. And the foursome are so close George and Amal invited the royals to spend some time with them at their Italian villa over the summer. They are said to meet regularly in London, getting together for regular dinners, and will soon be living just a short drive from each other. The Cloonies have a home just outside London, about 30 minutes from Windsor Castle where Meghan and Prince Harry's wedding took place and where the Sussexes will be moving this year ahead of the arrival of their first baby in the spring. The couples are said to have a blast together, as one source who was at the Sussex reception revealed. A guest who was sitting with George Clooney said the actor had told him, I'm really enjoying this wedding because they actually seem to be in love. I go to all these celebrity weddings and nobody seems to be in love at all. They are said to have let their hair down at the party with George dancing with both Meghan and Kate Middleton and serving shots of his own Casamigos tequila. Amal and George Clooney were married in 2014, becoming one of the world's most powerful couples before the arrival of their twins, a daughter named Della and a son named Alexander. Amal has long been known as a powerful symbol of human rights and diversity through her work as a barrister, as well as the wife of a famous actor. How do they know each other? Meghan and Amal are said to have met when Amal introduced Meghan Markle to her own hairstylist, Miguel Perez. When Meghan made the big move to London, Amal was there to help her adjust to life in Britain, sources claim. An insider said, Amal has been helping Meghan settle into London life. It was a very natural friendship from day one. The accomplished attorney and former actress have plenty in common, so it makes sense that they'd be friends. Human rights women's issues, and involvement with the United Nations are all on the list of things the two can chat about over dinner. Meghan has been a UN women's advocate since 2015 and Amal has spoken at the UN a number of times in the past few years. George is rumored to have endeared himself to the royal couple through his charity work. He founded the charity Not On Our Watch with fellow celebs Don Cheadle, Matt Damon, and Brad Pitt with a goal to stop the genocide in Sudan. George has also worked on anti-poverty efforts, the Armenian genocide, the Syria conflict and gun control in the U.S. Prince Harry is famed for his charitable work too. He has co-founded two charities, Sintabalo with Lesotho's Prince Cizo to help the orphans of Lesotho, and the Royal Foundation with his older brother Prince William. Harry has long been an avid campaigner on mental health and started the Invictus Games for Wounded, Injured or Sick Armed Services personnel.